Last night, our 10 Investigates special report, Absent, shined a light on the effect that the pandemic has had on students statewide. More than 87,000 have gone unaccounted for in class roll calls since the beginning of the pandemic. 10 Investigates' Jennifer Titus explains how the Speaker of the Florida House is now pushing to find those children who have just vanished from the system. Yeah, hey guys, I spoke with Speaker Sprouse about our investigation and he told me that it is vital that we get these kids back into the classroom. How many unaccounted for students has Hernando County had? At the beginning of the year, it was about 2,000. Have you guys ever seen that number before, those 2,000 unaccounted for no. students? No, no, we've never seen that before. 10 investigates uncovered in Bay Area schools alone, there are more than 10,000 kids that have gone missing. Thanks to efforts by many of these districts, some literally hopping in their cars and knocking on doors at the addresses they have on file, many students have been found. But the effort now is to get them back in the classroom. That's why Speaker Sprouse sent this letter to every single school district in the state. So my letter to the superintendents was to say, first, we have a moral obligation as a state uh, to find these students, to get them re-engaged uh, in education, uh, whether that's back in the classroom or virtually, we have a moral obligation to do that and to make sure that they're getting a year's worth of learning and a year's worth of time. And additionally, on the budget sense, to, to make sure the superintendents and the school districts understand that we base our budget every year on the number of students being served. And next month, another survey will be taking place statewide to see how many students are still missing. And guys, that's important because in the next couple of weeks, lawmakers will be meeting to discuss the budget and how much money each district gets depends on how many students are enrolled in each district. Jen, thank you for your reporting. And if you'd like to watch the full investigation from Jen and our 10 I team that we aired last night, you can watch it right now at 10 Tampa Bay.com. Just make sure you click on the 10 investigates tab right at the top of the page.